It is a pinwheel block. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. I want to share this really cool knit stitch pattern with you. It's called a pinwheel block and this is part of the Burnett Stitch Along that I'm hosting right now. So I have a link. I would love for you guys to get involved. We're in week four over there right now, but you can join in at any time. And um, But it would be great for you guys to jump on in right now so that you can knit with everybody at the same time too. So let me show you how we are going to be knitting up this pinwheel block. Oh my gosh, another really cool graphic design something else that quilt lovers probably have seen before but we're knitting it up and the construction of this is another really cool one we are wrapping and turning so if that's a technique that is brand new to you I am definitely going to break it down and show you in the video here uh, in a moment and it's really neat how the triangles just keep going around and around to complete this perfect square again it's another 21 by 21 inch square that is part of our blanket afghan here in week four of course this is a community project and it's been great to see everybody sharing and posting photos and helping each other out so please keep on doing that down below and let's jump in to the mystery clue we're using yarn colors c and d for me that is dark teal and smoky green new shades available exclusively at joanne you'll have that same circular needle we've been using, scissors, a tapestry needle, and stitch markers. We begin with our beloved slip knot, and we are going to be casting on with our color C, 19 stitches. And then we just knit the very first two rows. And once those two rows are knit up, let me show you row three. So we're going to be knitting 18 stitches until we have one last little stitch. And this is our wrap and turn. So we bring our yarn to the front and then we're going to slip our stitch to the right hand needle, purl wise. We bring our yarn to the back and then we return that slipped stitch on to the left hand needle. I'll be doing this one more time. So then it's wrapped and we turn to work on the wrong side. But since it's the garter stitch, we are now going to take our yarn to the back of the work. And then we are on row four. So all you do from here is knit all the way up. Let's do this again on row five. So we've knitted 17, so we have two stitches remaining. We are bringing our yarn to the front and then we're slipping that stitch to our right hand needle. Then we're going to bring our yarn to the back and then we slip that stitch again right on back to the left needle. So everything's wrapped and now we turn. And again, because we are knitting the garter stitch we need to bring our yarn in between those needles to the back so that we can continue knitting row six and here is how our little wedge is starting to knit up and here's how it looks after knitting 36 rows let's do 37 and 38 together so we just knit one stitch and then we are going to wrap and turn from here. This is row 37. So we bring our yarn to the front and then we slip that stitch onto the right hand needle, bring our yarn to the back, slip that stitch back on to the left hand needle and then we turn and then row 38, ah, <laughs> I'm losing my needles here, row 38 we take our yarn to the back in between our needles here just knit one last stitch and then from here we break C that just means cutting off yarn color C and then we're ready to get started with our yarn color D for the second triangle 
We'll add our second yarn color and we're just going to begin by knitting one. This is on the first row of triangle two. And then we're going to wrap and turn. So just like we did before, we wrap and turn this stitch right here, turn it around, and then the second row is simply bringing that yarn back and knitting that last stitch. Okay, so on row three here is where things are a little bit different. We knit one stitch and then we're picking up contrast D. That is the wrap right there in the middle. We're picking that up and we're going to be knitting it together. So it's sort of like a knit two. So we knit those two stitches together. And then we finish this up with a wrap and turn. So we bring our yarn to the front, we slip it to the right hand needle, to the back, to the left needle, and we turn and then bring our yarn to the back so that we can just knit up. Of course, we're knitting up every single stitch here on the wrong side of our work. And let's do it one more time together. So this is going to be row five. We knit two stitches and then we're picking up contrast D. So we're picking up, for me, it's smoky green. I'm picking it up right there in the middle. And then with my right needle, I am knitting those two stitches together. And then we finish this up with a wrap and turn. So you know how to do it now. You bring your yarn to the front, slip it to the right, bring your yarn to the back, slip it to the left, and you turn and carry on. And just keep doing this technique all the way down until you wrap that very last stitch and you are done. And then we just repeat with triangle one until all of our triangles, let's see, that would be eight triangles total, complete our block. And then we bind off. You can bind off however you'd like. I personally am doing this stretchy bind off so that there's a little bit of give to the entire blanket. So I knit one and then I wrap it clockwise. I knit again. And then I just pass those first two stitches over. And that is how I'm doing my stretchy bind off. Again, do any kind of bind off you'd like. And if you guys have any suggestions, please do leave them in the comments. Then we will break our yarn. Make sure that you have a bit of yarn to work with because we are going to go ahead, thread it in, and then we're going to cinch up that little middle part right there. And I am just taking my needle and going all the way around that little bit and sort of cinching it up tightly so that it's closed. And then from there, I am just going to seam my work all the way up. Weave in your ends, cut your yarn, and you are done. Everything is seamed and finished. Now it's time for me to show off my pinwheel block. So I hope you guys have so much fun knitting up your pinwheel block and go check out that stitch along if you haven't already. Let me know how it goes in the comments, you guys, and I will see you here at Studio Knit next time. Bye.